Hi everybody, first of all, I'm with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, geothermal multi effect distillation, paraffin configuration, uh, for desalination and uh, power generation. What is the micro set and how can we run our model? Uh, first of all, we are going to utilize uh, geothermal energy uh, from, uh, from the earth in order to uh, desalinate uh, 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 and produce fresh water. Uh, uh, to this, moreover, we can uh, um, uh, generate uh, power generation of power electricity uh, for um, the main grid. Just remember, power uh, stations are similar to uh, other steam turbine thermal power stations, and heat from the earth's core is used to heat water or another water fluid. Um, working fluid is then used to turn, uh, turn on a turbine unit or a generator in order to produce electricity. Um, uh, most of such working fluids are uh, usually are uh, water steam. Sometimes we can use uh, organic uh, fluids. We have some uh, some uh, technologies, famous technologies are uh, uh, um, dry steam power plant, this is a simple way, and flashy steam power plant, uh, uh, most used, and uh, a brine and recycled power plant. Okay, for uh, for geothermal dry steam plants, they are the simplest and oldest in design. They directly use uh, geothermal steam, uh, no more than 150 degrees, usually 150 degrees Celsius or greater to uh, turn on the turbine units, as you can see here in schematic. It's a direct uh, vapor generation from uh, geothermal wood to uh, uh, turbine units. And we have, uh, this is process heat or um, the heat rejection uh, process, condenser, uh, whatever. We're going to replace this unit and uh, uh, consider MED as a desalination but not for dry steam, for uh, flash steam power plant. For flash steam power plant, uh, you have to pull deep, high pressure hot water into uh, lower pressure tanks, and use a uh, pressure difference in order to resulting a uh, flash steam, in order to drive the turbine. As you can see here, we are going to, uh, this is a hot water tank, a flash tank, therefore we are going to uh, reduce the pressure in the tank in order to generate some steam, and the rest of uh, of the uh, of the of the, uh, of the water of the brine is going to be mixed uh, and rebounded again into the ground uh, after the process heat uh, finished. And we have the steam for turbines and generator. Um, for brine cycle, usually we can we can use it for uh, we are going to use a uh, heat exchanger as intermediate unit. And uh, usually we, are, we can use pentane or organic rank cycle here, as you can see here. Uh, for uh, for our model, this is our process model. As you can see, uh, this is a steam. Uh, this is water uh, coming or a brine coming from a geothermal field in geothermal field in this flash tank, steam and water. Uh, this steam is um, is responsible for turbine unit exhaust the steam for the condenser okay and this is the process we have here uh, to, uh, two pressure and this is the main pressure and this is the uh, geothermal pressure okay and this is the main pressure we have dry and liquid and this is expansion through the turbine unit and from here this is heat rejection through the condenser uh, pressure just uh, we are going to consider this uh, plan however we can make some reformation by removing the condenser unit and adding a multi-effect distillation by utilizing the first effect of MED as a condenser unit. Okay, and the, steam, the exhaust steam from the turbine unit is responsible for uh, generating steam inside the, M the first effect of MED and the condensed steam is rebounded again and to uh, into going through to the mixer and rebounded to the geosim uh, field. And you see the steam here, effect by effect. Uh, this is the, the normal uh, operation for MED. 
Uh, our model is simple. We just need to discover some design aspects, energy streams. Uh, it's a design model. Therefore, we, uh, we have to assign productivity, blend productivity, and the blend productivity is going as a parameter is going to with some, of course, uh, some operating conditions is going to uh, calculate the rest of the process and calculate uh, the, uh, the first uh, uh, effective uh, streams and as, uh, it will calculate uh, it will calculate uh, the turbine power by uh, assigning uh, the productivity what is the aspects for MED, geothermal plant design uh, how much we are going to dig for uh, geothermal wood and what is the cost analysis for uh, such technology? Uh, let's go and see what we can do about that. Okay, go to your uh, destination folder and double click on your model. Your model should be appear like this. We have to uh, double clicking here, as you can see, some information. Yes, suppose I'm going to uh, produce 3500 meter cube per day ambient temperature 25 and the condensate steam temperature uh, I will also I keep it at uh, 60 degrees Celsius and let's go inside this is our plant let's open and put it we have uh, geothermal well we can assign a steam pipe diameter in inch uh, go through the to the well uh, for flash tank we have to assign uh, as the turbine pressure turbine pressure and steam velocity we can assign these parameters suppose I'm going for uh, uh, 10 volts for uh, uh, because this parameter is responsible for uh, we're going to answer about how much we are going to dig in uh, inside the geothermal wheel okay for turbine node two, we have to assign uh, uh, for, for power grid, if you are going to uh, uh, produce more power, as you can see here, we have two. Uh, this is turbine efficiency, uh, generator efficiency. Okay. And for uh, pumping unit, uh, efficiency. For MED, we have here uh, seawater uh, temperature. Brine below down temperature, I will keep these parameters. Salinity, uh, suppose we have uh, here for uh, uh, 45 ppm, 45,000 up to uh, uh, 70,000 uh, ppm. Uh, below down salinity, performance efficiencies of the bumps. A number of effects, uh, suppose I'm going for uh, six effects. Okay, MED effects, okay. Uh, let's go and see a head run and see uh, we can run our model uh, as a fixed point or uh, dynamically uh, dynamically uh, we can set our time to up to infinity and see uh, the effect of uh, increasing productivity and some operating conditions okay uh, suppose I'm going to uh, okay let's hit run and see uh, let's go for uh, for controlling uh, the turbine pressure or or we can control here condensate temperature okay let's see let's see here uh, we have to watch this is a geothermal well uh, for geothermal well uh, we have to watch we are going to calculate wheel depths uh, in feet and kilometer hole uh, pipe hole diameter geothermal uh, uh, pressure, wheel heat pressure, pressure losses, silica concentration, uh, and so on. Uh, for bombing unit, of, of course, we, uh, the pressure, power of the bomb, uh, temperature output, okay, uh, mass flow rate. Uh, uh, here in in flash cyclone, we have to keep what we have uh, to keep watching, uh, to keep our sight on this flashing dryness selection this is very important and we have to calculate the uh, areas of uh, inlet tubes outlet diameter of the shell um, uh, diameter height of the si flash cyclone uh, flash tank width uh, volume uh, mass total mass flow rate water mass flow rate here 
and we have a steam mass flow rate of course we are going to calculate with, of course uh, some operative conditions are could such as temperature uh, and salvi entropy uh, will pressure uh, and so on for the main unit this is power this is the net power this is total power and we are going to subtract the total power from uh, power from the turbine units and because uh, we have almost five uh, bumping systems and some be out and keep watching on drainage fraction uh, this is exit condition from the turbine and this is multi effect uh, we have uh, to calculate um, steam mass flow rate through the cycle feed flow rate the, the distal profile brain profile salinity profile uh, st condensation is uh, pressure uh, entropy temperature profiles vapor brine feed uh, gear ratio and and so on and this is the end condenser unit this is end condenser F what is the mass flow rate cooling water flow rate uh, and so on and cost calculations we have to assign what is the total water price uh, by the using of uh, geothermal desalination let's hit run and see as you can see here i'm going to 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 uh, make some uh, changes okay uh, I, I suppose i'm going to increase the plant productivity as we see let's go and, and see the power of, of the turbine units this is the current solution a turbine unit is uh, two megawatts okay now it's two two megawatts let's go and change increasing the productivity sure would it change was uh, would it uh, increasing the would increase uh, the plant power because increasing the steam flow rate through the cycle suppose i'm going for uh, uh, 10 megawatts okay 10 megawatts and this drainage fraction through the turbine um 87 percent quite interesting okay increasing increasing up to 10 megawatts suppose i'm going to increase the condensate or decrease the condensate steam suppose i'm going to increase uh, it also affect on uh, the power uh, okay it, it will it will de decrease the power we used up to 70 this is uh, condensing steam uh, through the MED because we are going to consider the first effect as a condenser okay let's see the effect on uh, flash cyclone suppose we are uh, this is a flash cyclone here uh, this is our flash cyclone yes this is the dryness fraction is uh, 24% suppose I'm going to uh, increase uh, the turbine pressure uh, going uh, returning back to the flash cycle here okay let's watch uh, some changes increasing the pressure of the turbine unit okay increasing pressure would, would increase uh, the dryness fraction okay in case suppose i'm going to 20 uh, uh 20 bars 25 bars for example for example okay it's 0.55 okay that's it stop uh, okay, for geothermal, well, um, as you can see, this is uh, with depth in feet and kilometer, whole diameter, uh, with pressure, with hit pressure, and this is a bombing unit. This is a power, bombing power, okay, based on as a pressure losses and temperature. And for flash cyclone, as you can see here, we have, we can control the height of the flash cyclone. Uh, diameter, shell diameter, uh, uh, by uh, controlling the, the the steam mass flow rate or the steam uh, flow speed. As you can see here, uh, this is the condensation temperature, turbine temperature, and therefore this is uh, uh, well temperature. We are going to extract uh, temperature at this point. We are talking about this point. This point. This point. Uh, this only point is about, as you can see here, uh, 374 degrees Celsius. That's quite interesting. For the band power, okay, this is increasing the band power, or uh, dec decreased because we increased uh, uh, the steam co um, uh, condensation steam. This is multi effect. Let's go for multi effect. 
you can uh, calculate also some exergetic analysis as you can see here inlet exergy of the seam outlet exergy exergy of the feed brine distillate okay and this is area profile area profile uh, uh, tube lenses uh, number of tubes per each effect total number of tubes feed flow rate uh, cooling water flow rate uh, and so many parameters you can extract and you, you also can go here and see some uh, for the area profile and the sink okay because it's uh, it's not one it's fixed point solution we can discover our results from here as you can see here uh, let's go and see uh, so Therefore, yes, for cost analysis, as you can see here, for cost cost analysis, this is total water price. Total water price, okay. This is total plant cost. Uh, this is uh, unit product cost. Geothermal total annual costs, okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's see here. For that inspect inspector, this... Um, I think we have to. Uh, okay, this is wheel depth. Some design outputs wheel depth. This uh, wheel head pressure. Uh, silica, this is silica concentration. This temperature. This is wheel temperature. In, in increase and decrease because we change it. Some. Uh, this is turbine power. Let's go for turbine power here and. Uh, uh, we can up to to e4 okay this is the variation of the turbine bar and this is flash tank height uh, flash tank width okay now flash tank uh, volume okay this is total mass flow rate total mass flow rate we can add let's go and adjust our format uh, up to 1000 Okay, 200. Okay, okay, 130. And uh, what are talking about uh, from 20? Okay, this is a variation of uh, total uh, total mass flow rate through the cycle. This total mass flow rate. This water inside the flash tank. Drainage fraction. This is drainage fraction. Okay, and. Um, uh, this this is a condenser. Uh, let's go here and from uh, zero. We can consider it from zero point eight. Okay, this is a condenser dryness fraction, and this is flashing dryness fraction. Okay. Okay. For uh, for now, we are going to we are glad to say that we have. Uh, Simple method in order to utilize geothermal energy uh, by the use of uh, MED, multi effect distillation. It's the simplest way to desalinate uh, seawater or saline water. We can control salinity, you can control uh, many, many, many parameters you can address. You can address uh, see the effect of changing some operative conditions and what is the effect on how. How uh, how deep we are going to dig in, in order to extract 300 or 400 of uh, of degrees Celsius uh, for uh, turbine uh, output or turbine inlet? Uh, anyway, don't forget to download West Gas cycles for thermal selection processes. Uh, it's quite interesting uh, cycles. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.